Hello and welcome to another video by the Wand Brothers. Today I'm going to be reviewing Neville Longbottom's Replica Wand by Noble Collection. Okay, so Neville's wand comes in a black Ollivander's box, which kind of surprised me because I thought it would come more like a red or a green because black's uh, much more for like a darker character and Neville's not a dark character at all. Um, you got the uh, Ollivander's logo on the sticker. Uh, it's a much paler sticker compared to like Snape's or Voldemort's because um, they're much darker characters. So take the box off. And inside you get your certificate of authenticity. Um, yeah, it just says it's a Noble Collection product and it's inspired by the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You get red ribbon on the side, red curtains and red felt. So it's the same as Harry's one box. Okay, uh, take out the wand. The wand is 13 inches long and it's, uh, this is his second one because his first one was destroyed in the, the Battle of the Departments of Mysteries in Order of the Phoenix at the very end. It uh, gets the, um, just, uh, broken or snapped and then he gets a new one which is this one. Um, I don't know if they, they had two ones in the movie but it was definitely two ones in the book. So this is um, made of cherry wood and has a unicorn hair core. So uh, I really, really like this wand. I think the shaft's really nice. It's got very nice texture to it. Um, the paint, uh, the way they've painted it is really nice. The strokes sort of blend in and give it a really nice texture and it does look a lot like wood. It's a light brown, like most wands um, are usually a light brown, I found. Um, and then it's not, luckily it's not too, it doesn't stand out too much to copyright. Um, you can just about see it on camera. It's uh, black, but because there's no real right uh, right way to hold this, you can have, hold the wand and have it sh um, on the bottom so no one can see it. Now moving to the handle, it is a really, really cool looking handle. I don't know if it really um, shows off Neville's character because it's quite neat and uh, twisted and Neville's kind of clumsy and not very, you know, I, I can't imagine being a very twisted character. But I still think, I can still imagine him using it and I think it looks really, really nice. Kind of looks like they kind of got three bits of wood and just kind of twirled it together. And I, I love the look at the top as well, where you can just see the, the three bumps where the uh, wood stops. And yeah, so as I say, it feels really nice in your hand. But the, the one looks quite short when you hold it because the um, the handle's so long. I mean, usually handles would stop around here, but it's got this extra little length. So the shaft itself is uh, only about, uh, say about 10 inches, so it's quite short. But it's still really nice. Now, i probably recommend this. I wouldn't recommend it maybe for your first wand. It's more of an unusual one, but hey, the, the wand chooses the wizard. And when I first saw this, this was the wand I wanted to get. So it was my first wand. Um, but then I'd probably suggest maybe getting Harry's or Voldemort's first. But this is, this is a very cool wand. So I'm really pleased with it. Okay, so thanks for watching this uh, review, guys. Uh, please watch more of our videos. And uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Housekeeping. I'll come back later.